Hello, hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Diablo 3 Beta. We have two choices to go into one of these crypts. Uh, since I restarted a new game, it resets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in this one. If it's a correct one, I'm just going to keep recording. If it's not, I'm going to edit it out, and then we'll go to the next one. So, let's see what happens. If we ever load in there. There we go. Is that a treasure goblin? No, it's a shrine. I increase the sound in my game. It's really loud for me. It's really weird when recording. I have the sound up a lot for me. It's like ear deafening. But it doesn't translate to recording as well. Oh, new enemy. Cool. Gravedigger, huh? Yeah, they're just ghosts. Wee! Alright, more money. Alright. So we're looking pretty good. We're level 7, almost level 8. Ah! That was scary. Haha. <laughs> I love Cleave. It's so nice. Um, we're going to get a rune for it, too, that makes it like, holy crap, you don't want to use anything else. I don't remember what level we get it for it, though. You know, I should probably use my, yeah, that attack more often. Don't really have a need to, though. Oh, lag! Let's see what's up here. Oh, apparently us doing the moonwalk. Ho ho! And then here we get nothing! Hello, Ghost of the Grave Digger, what you got for me? Alright, well, we found it right away. Nice. Level 2. This is the correct one, then. Alright, so before we go in there, let's change our skills. So let's go to Bash, and we'll change it to the Stun. And that's all we've got there. And. We'll take that off. No rune. Yeah, we'll just stick with that. We're going to be fighting a little mini boss here. When the first time I played it, it kind of kicked my ass a little bit because I wasn't prepared. Mango Maul, Horror of the Crypt. Yeah, he's big and nasty. Look at that, nice stun. Stun him again. Ow. But, good thing about bosses like this, is that they will drop health globes as you fight. Easy enough, then. Much easier. Yeah, I was going in, like, cleaving him to death and having nothing else on me. Ah, that was pretty bad. New lord. Hmm, he's an unburied. Those are basically really big, nasty guys. Kind of like, um... Well, what's kind of the closest thing in Diablo 2 I can think of? Nothing really. You don't usually fight them in big packs unless you run into a boss mob. But when you do, they can be kind of nasty. Come here, you. I want to kill... I want to kill those guys pretty quickly, those Tomb Guardians. They'll summon more guys. Pretty annoying. Alright, well we made it to what other Chancellor's Altar is. So I'm going to switch back to Bash. Now, like I've talked about before, if this was in-game, I couldn't be switching skills like this willy-nilly because I'd want to keep the buff that I have that I've talked about. Well, too bad. i got to kill him. He's kind of already back. Sorta. Oops, I didn't change that out. Whatever. This guy's easy enough. He just pretty much runs. I don't think he really does much. It'd be kind of nice if they kind of changed him up a little bit. Alright, we get stuff. Alright, well, we got a quiver. 
which is an offhand, which is mainly used if you have a two-hander, uh, like a bow or a two-handed crossbow if you're a demon hunter. And that's crappy. Excuse me, intelligence increases um, at damage for witch doctors and wizards, but also increases your resistances. So it's really not actually terrible to have. Oh, level 8. And we learned Town Portal, finally. It's not a scroll anymore. Oh, we got Leap. Oh, my favorite spell in the game so far. Uh, I'll show you why. But Town Portal now is a channeled spell that takes you right back to town. But you can't use it like in Diablo 2 as like a defense mechanism. Like, hey, I'm getting my ass kicked. I'll put up a Town Portal real quick and head to town. Doesn't work that way now. Yep, yep. I bet it is, Hadrig. Neat. So now, if you, if you were playing, he, you would have access to the Artisan. This one. There is another one in game as well. Um, not in the beta, though. I think he's like a jewel crafter or something like that. So let's salvage all this stuff. We want to get crafting materials. Now we've got a Fallen Tooth. Not bad. Now, I do have access to this Flame Burge, but it requires level 10. I can't use that. That's the only two-hander I have access to. But we do have access to some other armor. Level 5. Let's see if I made that. Level 8. Let's make that. 363 gold. Please, please do something decent. Uh, it's pretty crappy, but better than what I got right now. Gloves, can't use, level 10, level 10, level 9, not using a shield. Well, let's make uh, these cuffs again. Might be better than th this one. Oh, I don't have any gloves. 5 to vitality, yeah, 50 life, I'll take that. Ah, whatever, I don't really care. Alright, so we've done that. Let's talk to Kane really quick. Oh, okay. I uh, need a drink. Sounds good to me. Okay, I'm going to take a quick pause break and refresh my video, so I will be right back. Okay, we're back and we're ready to go. So I went and got a blessing from the healer up there on the mini-map. So let's head back to the Cathedral Garden. We have us a skeleton king we have to take care of. Ooh, a chest. Shinies. Money, alright, awesome. How much money do I have? 4477. That's between all my characters. I blow it on stuff like upgrading my artisan. Alright, the ornate door. Apparently, somehow, the skeleton crown accesses this place. I don't seem to remember that being the case when I first came here in Diablo 1, but I'll forgive it. So we are in Cathedral Level 2 now. Pretty much going to be most of the same enemies. I don't think there's going to be anything new the rest of the way. Ooh, teleporters, huh? And, well, there's the unburied. That's the regular type that they are. So let me show you a leap. Oh, oh that's so much fun. The stun is a little bit more useful, like overall, probably like late game I would bet, but but there are many runes for uh, Leap that really change how it works, where you can give it a stun even, I believe. It's quite interesting. Another boss, knockback. Fusto, Crippler of Princes, huh? That's interesting names that they've given. Ow! Well, with knockback, just stand against the wall and you don't have to worry about it. Bracers of focus. You suck. Good thing about leap, too. It also generates 15 fury. So it's kind of like a uh, ground stomp. And that would, well, it also generates fury. Boom! Oh. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is so much fun. That does not get old. Are yeah, these unburied? Ow! They hurt. Could use a better weapon, but, well, I made my choice. Leap also does slow, yeah, the movement speed by 60%. Wow, that's pretty good. But, here's what's fun about Leap as well. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. I love that. You can also go up vertical planes as well, but it has to be kind of a certain height. Can't just I probably can't just leap from here to here. Let's find out. Oh, I did. Okay, never mind. What's this? I don't know what that is, but it's going to die. Yeah, those Tomb Guardians, they love to run away. And their, their, um, yeah, their long-range attack, you know, isn't a slouch. It does hurt a little bit. Bardage, huh? Two-handed pull arm. Twelve, well, it's better damage. Yeah, I don't want that javelin. All right, picking up the money. I'm sure that offends some people how much I don't pick up the money. Oh, got some more guys in here. Ooh, lots of guys. All right, looking good. Now that we have a better two-hander, at least. Yeah, I saw something happen in here. Apparently, these unburied are made from the corpses of dead enemies. That's what it appears to be. Alright. Let's go ahead and give me a checkpoint here. Alright, so we've reached our checkpoint. Next time we will start heading through the rest of level three. And we won't make it to we won't make it to the end yet, but we're almost there. We're almost at the end of the beta. So thanks for viewing this episode and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.